And we got psycho people stocking up on shit like this fucking zombie apocalypse going on over here. So I am out of the hospital. We left her on a McDonald's house. And I am home now. And it is like the plague here. We've got like tons of empty shelves. There's no meats, there's no nothing. And we need groceries because we haven't been home in months. And now with this whole friggin' COVID coronavirus, it's just people are going bananas about everything. Oh yeah, there's no bananas here, so yeah. We just need groceries <laughs> and we got psycho people stocking up on shit like this fucking zombie apocalypse going on over here. But yeah, like I want snacks for my son. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? Well, I'm finally home after unloading groceries. I've been spending the past like three hours just organizing the house again. I'm tired and we're gonna head to bed. Good night, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. So they just got fed and we're just hanging out right now. Dad is gonna come pick me up soon though, so I can pump for you. But Frankie is just hanging out. Yeah, just relaxing. <laughs> Hi baby boy. And then his sister. His sister's just taking a snooze while she eats. Yeah, he's just having a little snooze, darling. Oh, you're so precious. Oh, my two little babes. What is today? Today is Saturday. Yeah. Monday, you're going to be a week old. Crazy. They're doing so well. They're still under the line for their Belba Rubin test, so they don't need phototherapy. Just eating away and gaining weight. She had one bratty earlier, or yesterday. She hasn't had one today yet. So that's good. No throw ups either, fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank goodness. Just like daddy. Look at this. Finally making my first meal since being home. Doing garlic chicken for chicken season salad. Smell good? Yeah, good. Good. Got a little bunny rabbit hopping around. Yeah, And Jack is just hanging out, playing. Loving having us home. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys what my belly is like three days postpartum. Excuse my diaper. But here's my belly from the front, from the side, front again, and the other side. So still a little pooch, a little bit of extra skin, but yeah, healing nicely. Oh, Frankie.
little Sophie snoozing away. What? What are you doing? Is that is that like a splint for your leg? Did you break it? Did you break your leg? <laughs> did you break your leg? <laughs> you did? Ah! Down he goes. <gasps> okay, come on. Let's go show Dada. He can't even stand up. Here, take my hand. There you go. Let's go show Dada. So Dada broke my leg. Dada broke my leg. Go ow! You squeeze too hard. It hurts my hand. <laughs> you gotta walk slow. Or you fall. Okay, bye. Little ones had a bath. And now they're just having a snooze after a nice feed. Little Sophie does too. Just so comfy, aren't ya? Yeah. You have a good snooze, okay? Love you, sweetheart. Yeah. Alrighty, so today was Monday. The twins are one week old. Still in the NICU doing great, but... I have a hair appointment tomorrow in the morning, so I'm gonna head to bed. Good night, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! So, today is Tuesday? Yeah. I'm supposed to go get my hair done, because it looks like crap. It's like, really, like, yeah. I wanted to get my hair done today, had an appointment. All scheduled and everything. And got a call, and all non-essential businesses I have a mandatory closing so I get to have ugly hair for the next month because <laughs> I still have to wash all the purple out so it's not like I can continue with my purple shampoo well, you could you got a month right uh, but yeah we're gonna see the babes this afternoon it's crazy how this outbreak or pandemic is like gone nuts but Canada's taking the appropriate measures, I guess. Uh, the hospital's giving us a fuck around too. Hopefully they don't get super stingy on everything because I'll fight that, that's for sure. But, wait. You shit yourself? Did you poo? You stink. Not it. So we went and saw the twins today and the hospital's cracking down even harder. Um, Apparently they're only allowing one visitor now and there's no coming and going so when you're there you have to stay or you don't come in at all so <sighs> Yeah, looks like I'm gonna be moving into the hospital again to be with the twins for probably a month Sucks I really wish I could have kept them in longer and just passed this whole bullshit this outbreak pandemic craziness, but yeah Pretty bummed out right now. So this is my last little bit with this munchkin. Uh, before I have to go to the hospital and stay there. Uh, yeah. I have to stay with your brother and sister because of the, the pandemic going on right now. Yeah. Because they need mommy's milk. And we're not allowed to leave and come back. So I have to stay with them till they come home. Because, oh. because this... COVID-19 could kill them. Yeah. Dad. Woo! Ooh. Uh. So I have to go and be with them and protect them until they come home. Yeah, and then we can all just quarantine ourselves in the house and stay away from all the people till it's over. But, yeah, I got like a week home with this guy. And now I gotta go back into the hospital. But I understand what it's for and why they're being so careful. But it really tugs on my heartstrings. Yeah. It tugs on my heartstrings. It tugs on my heartstrings. I'm not leaving yet.
goof. So it's just gonna be Daddy and Jack at home again. And I'm gonna be at the hospital with the twins. It's gonna suck, but hopefully we're not there too long. They started bottle feeding the other day. So yeah. Just a matter of time before they're just on the boob, the yeah. boob and the bottle. Boobie and then they get to come home. Yeah, and then they get to come home. Right. Yeah. Alrighty, so I am here at the hospital and the night before they go home, it's all up to me now. They're in my room with me. All the feeds, the changes, everything are up to me. I mean, the nurses are here if they need me, but they want me to try and do it on my own because this is what it's going to be like at home. I mean, at home I would have a mat too, but this is going to be terrifying. Oh man. I thought I'd get like one last night of all sleep, but apparently not. No Miss Sophie over here. Just real. <laughs> getting close to food time for her, so she's getting grumpy. And her brother over here is nice and calm and content. Hopefully we have a good night.